Hey guys, it's Monica. I want to share with you a couple of things that I have really, really been loving and a couple of things I haven't been loving all that much. So I'm going to go through a little bit of my trash, but I'm also going to talk to you about some new things that I have. So many of you know that Jay and I went on a trip. We went on a trip to Vegas and we went to the Grand Canyon and Right before I went, I've already shared those vlogs and all that, but right before I went, I received this package from Balzano. And Balzano is a handbag subscription, monthly subscription service, much like BoxyCharm is makeup and any of the other ones are skincare and FabFitFun. This is a handbag and accessory. So if you are like a handbag and accessory person, you might really enjoy this. So I received this package and I thought it was really fitting that I was going on a trip when I received this. So this is, and I shared this before. So this is like, you strap this around your waist and you can, you know, you have, it's a waist pack or I used to call it a fanny pack. Anyways, this was a godsend on my trip. I was able to secure all my money my tickets, everything in this compartment, and then there's a few zippered compartments in there for credit cards and for your driver's license and ID, and if I was going overseas, my passport and other compartments. Big enough to hold my cell phone, big enough to hold a lipstick or, you know, a few items that you want to be able to reach readily. Then two outer compartments. One would hold a cell phone. Now, I have the iPhone um, 10 the iPhone S Max or whatever it is. Anyways, the, a really big iPhone. It would not fit in these two outer compartments, but it fit beautifully inside here. So I was able to slip it in here. And then in this outer compartment, I had all my change. I had my, I actually put my boarding passes in here as well. And then in this compartment, which is quite secure, but it's a little thinner. You know, if you wanted to slip a couple of bucks so you didn't have to open up a zip anything, you could just open this up. It actually connects uh, snaps so to speak and you know to open it up you have to squeeze these two things together and then it opens so if you like just wanted to give the bag man bell man uh, curbside attendant a couple of bucks for taking your bags and you didn't want to open anything up that's what I did I put ones in here so that I had some tip money on travel day and you know you could you could I mean this came in so handy I was like so super surprised it is well well constructed and the band was big enough that it was comfortable the only thing is I was worried that these would you know like attract attention and all that they really didn't I mean I had to you know put this off and put it inside my travel bag nobody opened it up you know not my you know like when you're going through the um, TSA, the regulations where they're searching you and all that. I didn't have any, any problems at all with this. And I thought it looked really cute. I thought it was really, really cute. So along with this bag, that day when I was traveling, um, they sent this accessory pack. And they sent these moisturized gloves. Now I've used these twice. They are reusable. I forgot. I think you could do like, I'd have to read it again. I think it said like it was like 240 times you could use it but you take them out and I just put them back in here you don't have to you can store them any other place that's dark and you just put them on for 20 minutes oh my gosh I almost I'm, I don't even want to put them on right now because I'm gonna not want to take them off but oh my gosh these were heavenly and already they feel fabulous fabulous so you, you know you make sure that your hands are obviously clean and dry and then you put them on and you keep them on for 20 minutes and they're reusable you just seal them back up or put them in a dark place I just put them right back in here keep them on oh wow it feels it feels awesome so these were like super super awesome to receive the other thing that they sent that I used and washed is this little accessory these are these accessory packs so these a little tiny beauty blender <laughs> i loved it and then a bigger beauty blender that came in here and i absolutely loved it i mean you know they're an off-brand beauty blender they're not like you know the but they feel so they feel so good and so 
soft, really, really nice. I really like these and they're perfect size for traveling. So I thought that was like amazing. So let me just tell you a little bit because normally it's a hand handbag, um, you know, subscription. And then they have an accessory pack that you can get. One, one time I got a beautiful scarf. I've gotten some little jewelry. I have like little earrings they sent with a little bracelet. So the accessories that go along with your subscription are really cool, but you can also get this other pack that if you really wanted to add it on for $10 a month, you could. But the subscription, because people always ask me, I'm gonna link all the information below. The subscription, if you just did a monthly subscription, it's $35, $33.95. If you did it quarterly, it says here it's 101.80. And if you did it yearly, it's 366.66. So, you know, obviously yearly is a better uh, buy than, you know, quarterly or monthly. But you get two to three beauty products each month if you're going to be doing the, the uh, you know, that comes with your two to three products that'll come with your handbag and accessory subscription. And, um, and then, you know, you can sign up for the purse accessory, accessories and all of that stuff. You can add purse companions if you want. These were the purse companions they sent me, was the gloves, the beauty blender. They also sent me a little travel eye palette, which I haven't opened yet. I haven't used this yet, but just, you know, I'm going to open it up and swatch it, swatch, swatch it. <laughs> La, 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 and see how it looks because this might be the perfect size for somebody that just wants to throw one thing in their travel bag and have some shadows with them but anyways i'm going to give you all the information below if you're at all interested in subscribing to this it is like it's i think it's a lot of fun last month i got a bag and i th and i showed it to you all and i really love it i got a bag that holds my laptop and it's like it was burgundy and it was i could just stick my laptop in it and a couple of work items so it's sort of like a almost like a briefcase if you want to think about it but crossbody type of a bag that held my 13 inch macbook pro and a number of other things perfectly fine for work and this was just awesome i was so so thrilled with that so i just wanted to share that with you because that um you know, that was, I, that was really super. And I want to thank Balzano for sending me this. I truly, truly appreciate it. I've talked about their, their story, their brand story um, before, but if you're not familiar with it, it, it is really a heartwarming story. I'm going to link my previous video so that maybe you can listen uh, to the video, but it is all about removing the labels. And um, yeah, and she, the owner of this company and her daughter, definitely removed the labels. So I'm like super thrilled to help support them and I'm so thankful they sent me this wonderful package. The other thing that had come in right after I left, so it was waiting for me when I got home from my trip, was this wonderful, wonderful package from Sigma Brushes. And I'm telling you, I absolutely, this, this is, I'm gonna demo this, not in this video, but this is their brush cleaner. And, uh, or, and I absolutely love this. I thought this package was awesome. So I did get a few brushes and I have used these brushes. This particular one, this is the small tapered um, and they have the numbers and I will make sure I leave the numbers, but oh my God, I was having so much fun applying my eyeshadow with this. And this one, I know it's not, you're not really supposed to be, you know, I used it for my blush anyways. I used this for my blush. And this is the F35 Tapered Highlighter, but for me, it was a great blush brush. This is the big powder. And so, yeah, when you're putting on any kind of powder and you want to powder off, that was really awesome. I am loving, loving these Sigma brushes that I got. The whole Sigma package I'm loving. I have not tried. They sent a neutral, a warm neutral palette. I haven't tried that yet. I did show it last in one of my previous videos. And they also sent a lipstick. They sent a highlighter, a contour brush. I haven't opened this one to use it yet. And a lipstick and um, a brush cleaning fluid liquid. And it's really awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for, to Sigma for sending me that. A couple of things that I bought. I um, Now granted, I have my Raquel Welch Flirt Alert wig on. 
and either you're gonna like the wigs on me or not I, I you know I love them I love having the different looks and I love the ease of being able to put a wig on my head and being able to sit and do a video or run out to the store or something without having to fiddle with my hair but many of you know that I do have thinning hair and you also know that I have been, you know, that I highlight my hair and, and uh, touch up my hair. I think it was Mary Ellen after 60. And if I'm wrong, I will have to correct myself. But I think I had heard about this product on Mary Ellen after 60's channel. This is called Wow. And this is a powder that I'm going to try to put my Sigma thing over the mirror. This, what I really like about this, this is a root touch-up. They have a small end brush and a larger end brush. So what you do is you just can dab this into your roots if you're starting to see some gray and it'll cover them up. So I got, I think this is the, the brown, the light brown or the medium brown. I think this is the light brown is the one that I got. I got this off of Amazon. I really really like this I had I took this with me to Vegas and when I was just feeling like some of the grays were showing on my temple which is the first place they go I just covered up with this and I really liked it the other thing that I bought at the same time was uh, something called cover your gray or cover the gray it's a fill-in powder I bought this because I, I saw this and I said, hmm, this kind of is interesting to me. The only thing I don't like about this, it comes, it's a little tiny square, it comes with a brush. I don't like having a separate brush. I, I wouldn't mind if it was a smaller brush and it was nestled inside this container, like the brush for this container, but it isn't. So this is really cool because I'm going to cover up the mirror here. Um, it's got a light brown and a dark brown, and it is the same idea. You can take whichever blend of color you want, and you can clear, you know, clearly cover up any gray in your temples that you want, or anywhere else for that matter. If, if you have gray going down your your center part, you know, in your hair, etc. So I really like both of these products. The one thing that I thought was the best thing ever on them is that. None of them. I mean, I suppose you could color in your scalp if you pressed it on your scalp, but none of them colored my scalp. I was able to brush it along with the flow of my hair and coat the gray on my temples without coloring in my scalp, which I thought was really nice. So this worked awesome for traveling. I really liked it an awful lot. The color worked out perfect for me. This I'm keeping mostly at home because of the separate brush and all that so yeah this might go to work in my bag just in case you know i'm going to film a video at work and i want to touch up the gray and this might stay at home on my my cabinet so i really really like liked that a lot and i'll link it below it they were not expensive they were not expensive and for me they covered up my gray really really nicely and lasted all day which i thought was really really super awesome the other thing is YSL. I had received from YSL, uh, I don't know, quite a while ago, and I'm almost embarrassed to show you because it's a, it's a little dirty, but I had received this mascara via the Octoly Network, and I had actually reviewed it and said that I really liked it. I liked the brush. I liked how it applied. I still have some in here. It's not empty. Well, they had shown another one and I said, and I said to, you know, I said, wonder if they'll send me this as well. So I requested it via the Octoly Network, and this is the YSL. This is the Shock Mascara, as is this one. But this one is black, and this one is blue. Do you remember when we were kids? We used to have the white eyeshadow, and I, anyways, used to use blue mascara whenever I could. I loved blue mascara. So I said, wouldn't that be cool if I could get my hands on this? And it's a really, I, I, can you see the blue? You can probably see it really well on here, but you can't see it so well. I'm gonna look in the mirror. You can't see it so well on my eyes. Now, I haven't been coating and doing my whole mascara in blue at all. I've just been doing the tips. 
and I really like that. So I'm using my base mascara blacks, this or any other mascara that I'm using, I will use. And then I go over this YSL, the Shark Mascara in Cobra, I think it's Cobra, it, well, it's in blue. And I go over the tip of my lashes and I really like it. And then I actually brought it down a little bit more, just like a one or a two, you know, swipe over after I've applied the, the mascara. And it kind of gives me this kind of, you know, blue tinge to my, my mascara. And I really like that a lot. I think that looks really, really cool. So I was really thrilled. Thank you so much, YSL, um, and via the Octoly Network for sending me that. I really appreciate it and love it a lot. So the other thing that I got that was a total, oh my gosh, I'm looking for it. Here it is. I, it wasn't a, it wasn't a surprise that I got it. It was a total surprise that I loved it as much as I did. I had requested via the Octoly Network from Becca to try both their eyeliner, their, their lip liners and their lipstick. So I didn't get approved for the lip liner and I was really kind of bummed because the lip liner is actually what I was hoping they would send me and the lipstick was sort of like, okay, you know, that'll go be a nice companion piece to it. So I ended up getting the lipstick. So I ended up getting the lipstick and I, I showed this briefly in my other video, but I just had to come back and tell you after, I think I recorded that video, it was like two weeks or something. I just had to come back and tell you that, that the shock for me, and I'm going to show you the lipstick. I don't know if you can see it. I'm, just, I'm going to. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. The shock for me was truly how much I like it. Now, every now and then someone will say to me, well, what's the lipstick you're wearing? Because I never do a face of the day. I, I just, I, you know, I figure my face is kind of like sort of boring, so who would really care what I have on necessarily? So I never really do a face of the day. So every now and then someone will say, what is your lipstick you're wearing today? And I would answer them to the best of my recollection. But since I've been using this every day, I every day get somebody that either sends me a direct message on Instagram or on YouTube or in real life when I'm talking to them and they'll say to me, what is that lipstick you have on? It looks really, really good on you. And I will be like, wow, I have never in my life gotten so many compliments about lipsticks as I have about this. Now, when I showed you guys this before we went to Vegas, I was like really, I thought that little snapping noise was really cool. I thought that was awesome. But the most awesome part about this lipstick is it actually lasts doesn't last 12 hours, 18 hours, or any some such nonsense. But I can drink my coffee, I can have my breakfast, I can go to work, and three or four hours later, I still have lipstick on. It's starting to wear off a little bit, but I still have lipstick on. And then I can just touch it back up. So I am like thoroughly amazed at how wonderful this feels on my lips and how long it's lasted. So this is the Becca, and this is in the color Orchid, and I think it's beautiful. Now, I have been topping it off with lip gloss. I've topped it off with, I have a Lancome, a Lancome Clear that I've used. I've used my Buxom uh, that I have bought because I like the White Russian. I use that. I use the City Lips that I received from City Lips and PR. So I've used a number of different lip glosses on top of this. And the lip liner I'm using is my Avon lip liner because I didn't get a proof of the lip liner from Becca. But it's my Avon lip lining, liner, and I think it's like all about mauve or, or on the mauve or something like that. And I really, really like it a lot. I think it goes really well with this. So I'm like, I'm like so, so excited about that. You know, I think this video, I think I've gone, I don't even know how long it is, but I think I've gone on and on about everything and I never got to my empties and to my trash. So I'm gonna probably do this in two, I'll break it down into two videos so that it isn't a hour long, hour long video because I have a, what, look at this. I have a bag of stuff, trash, <laughs> empties. Now I've thrown a lot of empties out but I've also saved empties. Um, got some hair on my face so, um, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna, I think I will. I'll definitely break that into two videos. I just wanted to share those things with you. I love this mascara. I love having the blue little tinge. It makes me feel like I'm back in high school. And I'm like so amazed at the back of lipstick. Do you like this lipstick on me? What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you think that looks really good? And I'm just, I wish they had sent me that lip liner. I think that would have been really, really awesome. And on my head, I think I already mentioned this. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, this is my Flirt Alert Raquel Welch, and I really like this. Uh, this is the heat defying fiber, so you do have to be a little bit more careful with heat defying fiber or heat uh, friendly fiber or whatever it is. It's like it can stand the heat where most synthetic wigs can't. So um, being that it's synthetic, it's not human hair. Uh, I think, you know, I've been doing pretty good. I've been watching a woman. I watch a number of people religiously, but this one woman that I watch, her name is Taz, and I will link her channel below. It's Taz's Wig Closet. And she has got to be the most beautiful, beautiful woman. And physically, she is absolutely gorgeous. And But underneath it all, she's friendly. She, she is... You can talk to her. Her and I have been engaging on, on Instagram. I started commenting on her videos in, in YouTube. She started to comment back on mine. You know, and that's kind of how it goes. You, you reach out to different content creators that you have something in common with, and you develop a relationship. And so Taz is just, she's just a beautiful, beautiful person and a wonderful wig reviewer. And I know for many of you in the Mature Beauty community, you watched Nisha, Sugar Puff and Fluff, her wig reviews. Nisha's awesome, and I love the reviews that she does, and she loves that shaded bisque color, the really blonde blonde color. She looks gorgeous. But Taz recently reviewed a wig that I'm getting in a color I'm getting, and I can't wait to get it and try it on me. Not that I'll look nearly as good as she in it, but I'm really super excited. So I know this is kind of a gabbing about all sorts of different weird things, but um, but yeah, you know, it's just really nice when you can connect with somebody on YouTube and and you actually say, well, you know, be real, I would like to have coffee with this person. It, and I can't say that about everyone, but I would like to have coffee with her someday or a glass of wine. It, just like, you know, some of my my YouTube content creators that I feel super close to. I I want to meet them in real life. And I know that I can, I know that we could sit around the fire <laughs> and we could just chit chat for hours, for hours. And um, I hope that comes true. So anyways, I'm gonna end this video before it goes super long and then I'm gonna do another video. Yeah, I'll do another video I'll, and, and that way, you know, yeah. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any comments or suggestions about the lipstick, leave them below. Please be sure to like the video. Please, please, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. When Before we went on vacation, I actually looked at my statistics. I'm not totally statistic driven, but being a real estate agent, I am very concerned about statistics. So I did look at my, my statistics, my back end of my YouTube channel. And um, I have a high ratio of you that watch my videos almost all the time but you're not subscribed. So if you're watching the video, wouldn't you please, please consider subscribing because it would truly, truly help me out growing the channel a lot. I'm getting close to 9,000 and I'm putting together a huge giveaway for that. And I, I just can't believe that I'm getting close to 9,000. I really can't. And you know, it's been slow going, but it's, it's organic. You guys that are watching me are, watching me because you want to watch me. Those of you that have subscribed, subscribe because you want to, or I begged you to, I don't know, but it didn't pay you. And I think that's, I mean, to me that, I like knowing that you guys are real. I like knowing that every single one of you that I'm talking to, you're real people. And that, that makes it all the special. I would never want to pay to have subscribers. I don't care if I could get 80,000 subscribers next week. I don't really care. I'm so happy with what I have and I'm so happy with every single one of you. Now, if the rest of you watching this could subscribe, you'd get me to 9,000 a heck of a lot quicker and I, that would be like the nuts. So anyways, thanks so much guys. Bye.